Water is critical for everything we care about in the United States. Water is critical for our economy, from the production of food to the production of semiconductors. Water is critical for human health. Water is critical for the health of our natural ecosystems. The last time the United States conducted an assessment of its water resources at the federal level was back in the 1970s. And since then, many other countries have reformed their approach to water management based on the persistent and emerging challenges that we see. Yet in the United States, we continue to rely on a fragmented, outdated approach to water. And that's partly what this book tries to address. We offer an assessment of the current and future needs for national water policy, focusing on a number of key areas. And we make the following arguments for students, for educators, for public policymakers, for members of the public about the need for a national water policy. First, we argue that it's critical we have a national water policy. We really don't. And we need one for dealing with water quality, for dealing with competition among the states for fresh water, for dealing with ecosystem and economic water needs. Second of all, we need to deal with water as a national security issue. There are growing conflicts over water internationally, and there are direct U.S. national interests in resolving disputes at the international level about fresh water strategy. Third, we need to deal with the problem of basic water needs, both in the United States and abroad. The U.S. could be playing a far greater role at the federal level at meeting basic human needs for water internationally, but also meeting unmet needs for safe water here in the United States. And finally, we need to address the issue of global climate change. Climate change is a real problem. It's going to have important impacts on water resources. And we're just beginning to figure out how to integrate climate change planning into long-term water management. And there are communities throughout the United States that are suffering the consequences of an ineffective and under-enforced national water policy. We worked with these communities to write this book. Um, communities from the Central Valley of California who are drinking contaminated um, groundwater, nitrate contaminated groundwater, to folks in Detroit who have their basic water service shut off, to tribes throughout the United States who are fighting for their reserved rights. We hope that this book will start a new conversation to talk about a 21st century federal water policy in the United States.